All right, Gemini, Gemini, welcome. I'm going to do a general read for you, Gemini. Looking at your current energy, your desires, the outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. <clears throat> then we'll clarify all those cards, and then we'll pull three more cards at the end of the read so that we have all the information that we may need for your read. Uh, for those that have not subscribed yet, I would invite you to do so. Thank you all for being here. It does mean a lot to me that you are here. So let's get started. Gemini. Current energy. Magician. Uh, the magician is your energy, so it's really nice to see that you're standing in that. We have the page of wands that shows up for you in your desire section. So maybe you're hoping for some news to come in. And then the outcome is the three of swords. Um, King of swords is what's working for you. King of swords is an individual that is very clear, very decisive. And we have justice. Justice shows up as what you need to be aware of. Things need to balance. Let's go through this, Gemini. Let's figure this out. So underneath the magician, you standing in your powers, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Hanged Man. And this feels like to me that... You're well aware of your worth, but when it comes to possibly looking at yourself in a different light, you're not interested, which is all good. Um, the other way that I would see this for some of you is as you're manifesting different things in your life, it's like with the Nine of Pentacles here, you've manifested the money and financial security that you want and you're content with that at the same time it's like it's almost like there's been a change of heart or change of mind frame where you're like eh, you know what i'm not happy that i shifted my perspective on something with the five of cups and the hanged man here or for some of you, you may not be happy with how this has all come about. Or maybe just even the amounts. The Page of Wands. Clarified by the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. This feels like you're really waiting on news to get you moving to moving from sort of a place of this Eight of Cups where you're ready to go, you're ready to make that transition, and you're waiting on that opportunity to do so. <clears throat> Which makes sense. So this Three of Swords. Empress, Emperor, ooh, Two of Wands. Well, the outcome is the Three of Swords, and underneath that's the Empress, Emperor, and the Two of Wands. You might be separated from somebody. Or maybe you will be separated from somebody. Somebody that's a divine match. Somebody that this is a major partnership that needs to happen. So maybe for some of you, this is a third-party situation where you're leaving one relationship to get involved with, quotes, unquote, the relationship. And now as I look at this, this sort of current energy that you're in, um, it's almost like there needs to be more. There needs to be more to this. And that's why this comes up. There needs to be more to life, and this comes up. And then the desire to move on 
to something different, walking away and taking a new opportunity. The King of Swords. Oh, two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Um, there's a new relationship beginning, and you're trying to balance it out. But something else is just crop falling away and ending completely. Um, you know it. It's evident. You're just trying to keep the situations balanced. One is new. One is old. One is dead. Justice. We'll go back to balance again. Eight of Swords, the Tower, and the Ten of Wands. Uh, you've been your, in your head about this for a long time by the looks of it. That you know that there's a moment... <clears throat> and it's like you're waiting for this moment for it all to come crashing down. And maybe this is you just kind of waiting for it and not really taking any action to actually make it happen. Strength card, shadow side, ace of pentacles. This is interesting because the shadow side is also the devil. I also look at this as deception. Um, it's going to take a lot of strength not to get caught up in the deception and go for the new thing, is what I get for you. Gemini, this has been a really interesting read for me to do for you. Uh, thank you for being here. Again, I would invite you to subscribe if you have not already. Feel free to give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or leave me a comment. Best of luck this week, Gemini. We'll talk to you next time. Stay safe.